and your job is now to go and show the world what Patriot graduates can do. You will always be warriors, and Patriot will always be your home. So tonight we say congratulations on a job well done, and we celebrate you in entering the next journey of your life. At At this time, I would like to invite our valedictorian of the class of 2019, Mr. Nathan Lopez, to the podium for his address. Good evening, everyone. Classmates, friends, family, coaches, faculty. As has been said, I am Nathan Lopez and I've had the honor to represent Patriot High School or represent Patriot High School's class of 2019. And then tonight we are here to celebrate the graduation of that class. And though and I'm extremely proud of each and every one of you who has made it to this great milestone. And though I can confidently say that we didn't get here alone, it was ultimately you who put in the effort to get to this point. And I'd like to I'd like to thank all of you who have had an instrumental role in the success of my peers and me. And as I said before, none of us could have done it without you. A special thanks to the parents and faculty who, are, who make a habit out of helping us out, whether it be through the skills we learned, a change of mindset, or simply being there for us. I know I'm not alone in saying that I look up to several faculty members and they have all played a, have a vital influence in our lives and in our success. And I want to take a moment to appreciate the families who are here to celebrate this great achievement with us all. I know several people who have had family members that have flown from all across the United States to witness the, this momentous moment. And a final thank you to the friends who have been there for us through it all. Whether they're friends that you've known since the second grade or just this year, they have all played, they all have all been our support systems throughout these four years when our friends are, when classes got difficult, when families got difficult, and when life got difficult. And so the teachers, to the teachers, the faculty, friends, we are all immensely thankful. And now to the class of 2019. I want to congratulate you all because it's official. We beat high school. And I'm genuinely proud of all of you who have, gone, who have made it this far. But I do have some bad news, adulthood. Unfortunately, it's time for us to start the rest of our lives full, chock full of bills, mortgages, taxes, and other responsibilities. And it's definitely not one of the most uh, appealing things in the world, but I think it's important to note, with more responsibility comes more potential. Potential for success in the workplace, academia, and in the military. And I have the utmost confidence that each and all, each and every one of you will adapt to adulthood well and be the best version of you. However, I want to suspend the future for just a moment. After all, who wants to celebrate by talking about taxes? So I'll elaborate on a few more sentimental subjects. For most of us, high school has been the most grueling and difficult commitments up to this point. And it's safe to say that it's finally over. But it wasn't just the classes that were difficult. I know some people who have struggled immensely through these last four years, and I'm proud to say that they are sitting among us tonight. And I'm, have the, I'm very proud to say that I'm here to represent those who have accomplished so much in spite of great hardship. The selflessness and compassion that I have sensed throughout this class is more than I could have asked for. And now I'd like to take a moment to reflect on the past with you all. Because I'm confident in saying that the last four years has had its ups and downs for all of us, but it's important to note what got us here. For some, it may be families. For some, it may just be friends. And, I will, and it's important to take those things into account when moving forward. And something that I want to personally, that I personally struggled with, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to, is learning how to rely on others. Life's tough. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've never heard anyone say it was anything but difficult. But your friends, family, teachers, pets are all immensely important. Because we've got to this point with them, and it'd be very difficult to get any farther without them. And it's not easy to admit you need help. For those of you like me, we just want to do 
it our way and figure it out on our own. But that's not always possible. It's in those times of strife that it's those who we care for and who care about us that'll have our back and support us through it. And to those who have helped me, sincerely thank you. And I encourage you all to give some love to those who care and support you throughout these four years. Wherever you go from here, whether it be into the workforce, pursue higher education, or the military, I encourage you to find those who you can trust and be someone who can be trusted. And one more small pep talk before I move on. One of the other things that I wanted to elaborate on was independence. And this is where the whole complicated and place comes into play. Because while you do want to be able to rely on others to help you and support you, we're all on our own path. No two people are going to be living the same life. We all have our own uh, decisions, personalities, dreams, and aspirations, but that's just part of our individual journey. And I believe that's important. After all, what would life be if everyone were the same? So I encourage you to take the reins of your own life, and you do you. And my hope would be that every one of you takes advantage of every opportunity you get to advance your careers, acad academics, and rank. And I'd hope that you all watch out for yourself. Do what makes you happy, even if it's a little weird. Honestly, it could be a lot weird, and I'm not, too, I'm not sure too many people would care. However, with that in mind, it would do the world plenty of good to live out your own dreams and help others achieve theirs, simply to ensure the general welfare of your peers and close friends. And while you're out there at school, work, or wherever you are, be kind to one another, because you never know what, never know what someone else might be going through. A good rule of thumb that I like to use is to care and respect for someone until they give you a reason not to. But anyway, I'll part you on a positive note. Because while the future now may seem daunting and a little bit frightening, I assure you that it's going to be fun. High school was one of the best things, had best experiences up to date for many of us. But even if it wasn't, there's better things are yet to come. And I encourage you to practice some cautious optimism, meaning be ready, hope for the best, but be ready to take on the worst that life has to give. I sincerely wish the best for each and every one of you. I can't wait for 10, 15, 20 years down the line when I see all your faces, uh, all famous, and think, hey, I went to high school with that guy. But until, but for now, I bid you all farewell, and I hope you all the best.